hello everyone in this video i am going to explain the extensible style sheet language transformation in xml which is also called as xslt so xslt is the extensible style sheet language transformation and uh, which provides the ability to transfer the xml document data from one format to another format so the main use of this XSLT is to apply the formats. A format is nothing but a design to the XML data so that that data can be displayed into other formats in other designs. How it works? When you want to work on the XSLT, the XSLT style sheet is used to define the transformation rules. This, these transformation rules are written into the XSL files we create the XSL files against the XML document and XSLT style sheet is written in XML format. XSLT processor takes the XSLT style sheet and applies the transformation rules on the target XML document and then it generates the formatted document. Either it is in the form of XML, HTML or text format. This formatted document is then utilized by XSLT formatter to generate the actual output which is to be displayed on the browser or end users. Now what happens uh, in XSLT, when XSLT uh, transformation rules are created which is to be applied to the XML document. In whichever the XML document we are applying this transformation rule that uh, XML document becomes the target XML document and uh, the rules which we frame in the XSLT document we have to save that XSLT document as dot XSLT okay with dot uh, XSLT extension name and when we call that dot xslt into xml document or target xml document whatever the data is there in that uh, target xml document that is going to change and we can uh, display as formatted as the html document now in this figure you can understand if you have the xsl document and xml document both are to be converted to XSLT processor right so both the documents are converted by the XSLT processor and whatever the resultant document is there that resultant document is formatted with the help of this XSLT uh, transformation rules and the after formatting whatever the result we are going to display that is going to display by the XSLT formatter okay in this way we can uh, display the content or we can say the data of the XML document. The main advantages of this uh, XSLT is it is independent from the programming language. We are not uh, writing any programs. We are uh, not writing any programming. So the transformations are written in the separate uh, XSL file which is against the XML document. That is the advantage. And if you change anything you want to alter, okay, so as suggested in the second advantage, output can be altered by simply modifying the transformations in the XSL file. So anything and everything which you uh, make the changes into the XSL document which reflects into the web browser, okay, which reflects into the target XML document. So no need to change any code in the xml document only you need to change in xsl file okay so the web designer can edit the style sheet and can see the changes on the output quickly understand this uh, xslt syntax so here we have a simple xml file which is called as student.xml right so we have created student.xml in this student.xml you can find the root directory or root element is the class so here we have started class here we are closing the class in between that we have child element say student 
and it has uh, some attributes and uh, its values okay and also we have first name last name nickname marks and we have the details also okay so now we, uh, with the help of this uh, transformed into well formatted HTML document let us follow the steps first step to create the XSLT document okay how we are creating the XSLT document you can find this code this code has to be written in any uh, of the editor and while saving you should save with dot XSL name okay with dot XSL name now assume that uh, here we are st storing this file as student dot xslt or xsl okay so when you store with xsl so this code is uh, stored into xsl file now in this file what we are doing we are writing xsl colon style sheet we are telling the browser that i am using the xsl style sheet 1.0 version namespace and then xsl template matches equals to forward slash and then i'm using the html tag opening html opening body tag s2 tag heading 2 tag for student it will display in heading 2 style and then i'm using the table tr tag okay so tr tag for table row i'm using a bg color for this tr only this tr gets the bg color th for table headings in table heading i am mentioning the rule number first name last name nickname and marks and tr is getting close after this format this is the format in which i want the data to be displayed now what i do i use xsl colon for each see i am using the for statement to select the each record and append into this format append into this table okay so i am using the xsl i am using the for statement for each record i am using for each select equals to class student okay so class is the root uh, element right root element and under that root element we have student so i am selecting that so each record is selected from this class or student next tr i am using the next table row where i can get the value of the root class so there i will be using xsl value of so value of select select is the method by which we are selecting the rule number right so whatever the rule number is there that is going to display in this td okay here i am closing this td in the next td what i am doing i am using the value of select the first name now i am retrieving the first name similarly in the next td the value of select last name i am selecting the last name right and then i am selecting the nickname and then i am selecting the marks okay so if i don't follow this sequence what happens here the sequence remains same but the value gets changed in the records so therefore whatever the sequence we have maintained here okay as a table headings we should maintain the sequence here also okay so i am accessing all the values like a first name last name nickname and marks and thereafter i am closing this tr right table row so if there are n number of records n number of time this will get execute and the value of will access the value of each record of first name last name marks nickname etc and retrieve into particular cells okay now after this after retrieval of all the records what should we do we close the xsl for each loop we are closing the loop here we are closing the table we are closing the body and we are closing the html and then we are closing the xsl template and finally we are closing the xsl style sheet okay 
So this is the end of the first step and creation of the XSLT document. Save this document with the student.xsl and move to the second step. Our second step is to update the student.xml document if it is already created. Okay. Assume that we have already created. Okay. So as I uh, explained you here, right, in the syntax, we have already created student.xml document. In the second step, if you have created, just update this uh, tag into your web file. If it is not created, create the XML document. And then what you need to do is update the student.xml document with the following style sheet tag. Okay. And set href value to student.xls. Now what I am doing, I am using less than question mark XML hyphen style sheet type equals to text slash XLS href hyper reference. I am using hyper reference to call the student.xsl into my XML document. Okay. And whatever the class is there, class and uh, other elements. So we will write as usual. Just we are updating. Okay. In the second step. After updating the student.xml, it look like this. Okay. So we are updated here student.xls. Okay. So after updating this uh, view the XML document in Internet Explorer. Right. So to view this XML document in Internet Explorer, if you open this student.xml in Internet Explorer or any other browser, okay, you will be getting this output. This is your output. Okay. So if you simply open the XML uh, file, Without the XSLT, you won't get this table. Understanding? You won't get this table. You will be getting this uh, structure as usual. But when you open with uh, XSLT, the XSLT formatter formats your XML document and it generates the XSLT formatter and it display the formatted data. This is the formatted data, what we have seen in the figure. Okay, so this is how you can use this XSLT and uh, complete the formatting with the help of XSLT formatter. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you like this video, kindly subscribe my channel, like and share. Thank you one and all.